fresh basil puree and then some lovely herbs that we pick from our garden. Okay, so this is the start of the process of the dish. So we've got here, we've got um, Jersey milk, which is a live milk. So we're gonna heat it up to 38. It's the lactic acid with water, we put that in. And then we take a little bit of the culture, bacteria, sprinkle that in. So we're just going to leave that now for half an hour. This is another part of the dish, which is a, a Parmesan snow. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is, is, is grate the Parmesan. Okay, so we're going to put the water in. There you go. Salt. And the Parmesan cheese. So what we're going to do now is heat that to um, 85 degrees. And then we're going to pass it through a sieve. And then we need to leave it for 24 hours to freeze. We've had the um, Chave Sweet since 2006, um, and you know it stood the stood the test of time, and it's still here and it's still functioning. So no, we're very happy with it. It's taken a lot of you know a lot of beatings, um, that's for sure, and you know it's testament to the brand. Okay, so we've got a green olive juice here. Um, so we've got the green olives, Kalamata green olives, white chicken stock, and, and lemon juice. That's it. Thermomix. Chicken stock. So we put the juice of half a lemon. And then we blend that up. Okay, so that's ready. So all we now do is just pass it through a sieve. I think in terms of my food and the food concept and my ideas about food, I would say I definitely simplified some things and in terms of the actual the look of it. I've gone down a route of sort of more refined um, ingredients to a degree in terms of the simplicity of it, um, sort of to tie in obviously with you know with the feel of the restaurant. So I would say that overall, whereas before you know a lot of the food was either either sort of stacked or there was a lot more going on the plate, it's definitely a lot more simple on the plate. So we just ladle this out. All we then do is let's let it drain in the fridge. Okay, so we're going to make a green olive powder, okay. So what it does, it dries out the, as you can see, the oil. And after the spoon, we'll use a whisk. So you can start to see it's forming into granules. And there we have the green olive powder. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a, uh, a basil oil. So we put the basil in the water. And we're just going to cook that for literally till it goes soft. Fresh it in nice water. Squeeze all the water out. Put the basil in. Take the olive oil. Turn it on. Drain it. And that's the uh, the basil oil. Well, here in central London, we are now growing our own vegetables uh, for, the, for the restaurant here. I've gone from, you know, the, the tomato bags DIY style to sort of having proper, proper planters and shelving units and even a greenhouse on the roof. I mean, it's a small space. I'm talking of literally, you know, probably three metres by four metres max. Um, so it is tiny, but we've actually sort of gone for the sort of stacking um, shelves and things. So there's... There is in terms of you know what we get in there. There's you know vegetables wise. We've got beetroot. We've got baby leeks. We've got baby carrots. We've got broad beans. We've had peas. Uh, we've got tomatoes growing. We've got courgettes growing. We've got green beans, and a lot of the herbs. So it is quite amazing. You know, we're taking people up. They're like, like you know, can't believe we got that much in there. Next, honey jelly. Heat up the water. So we've got citric acid and the honey powder. Take our honey. We just whisk that in, and then we'll set it back in the container that the honey was in. This is for a um, basically a, a milk jelly sheet. So we're going to grate, grate the cheese into the milk. And 
creme fraiche. And then we're going to heat that up. So all we're doing is just melting this. We add the veggie gel. So we're just going to whisk this up to 80 degrees. So we've got the ricotta. You put a little bit of the whey in there just to wet it down a bit. Then season it up. Okay, we've got the basil puree. We're going to pipe this on the plate. So we take the pine nuts. This is a dried green green olive crumb. This is the uh, the milk jelly sheet. Okay, and let's take that off. Take the ricotta. Spoon that on. Now we're going to put on the honey jelly. Okay, we're going to put the herbs around around the dish. Okay, so that's basically all the all the herbs. We put the green olive juice on. Just goes around, and then the basil oil that we made. We just put a bit over all the salad leaves as well. We're going to put Parmesan snow, and this is uh, also a pine nut. It's a pine nut ice cream as well. So this is the Parmesan snow. This is the green olive malted extra, green olive powder. 